Hi, this is Greg Wayman, ASHE Certified Inspector and President of Foundation to Rooftop. I'm down here on an inspection in Bellevue, Nebraska, and we're looking at an electric panel. And I want to show you some of the fun things that we find. This is a 125 amp panel. Um, it's got five disconnects. The 60 amp main lighting disconnect here will turn off all the power to all these breakers below it. Um, six or less main uh, disconnects is acceptable. Uh, what I wanted to focus on though is down in the bottom here, we have, if you look close, single strand aluminum wiring mixed in with copper. And single strand aluminum wiring can be acceptable if the breakers are copper to aluminum approved. Um, the other end, at the outlet or light switch or wherever it runs to, needs to make sure um, that that's copper to aluminum approved as well. And if you look on these breakers, they do say CUAL, which means they are approved for both types of uh, metal. Um, another issue I have here is you have single strand aluminum wire as the ground coming down through, wrapping around your ground, and then the line terminates right here. The branch wire and ground wire does, so it doesn't come down and clamp onto the bar at the bottom. Um, also, you have a hodgepodge here of branch wire and ground wires all coming together. This one here is not hooked up as well and they're just all onto one one screw. They're not soldered together or anything. Um, so this is not really proper. Uh, anyway, just wanted to show you some of the fun stuff we run into. Uh, if it's not copper to aluminum approved, then it could be a fire hazard because copper and aluminum do expand and contract at different rates. So it would be a good idea to have a licensed electrician review this and make it right.